Hey, it's Tim here. I've got two minutes to show you how to build a bar chart and we're gonna add some flair because that's plenty of time. Let's grab our dimension subcategory, put that on rows. That will make the rows go from left to right. Let's grab the metric we're gonna use for this bar chart. We'll use quantity just to mix it up a little bit. And there we go, we have a bar chart. If you wanna rotate this, just go to the top and you'll see this icon, press that and it will just rotate the charts. Notice what it does to do that is essentially swap what's on columns and rows. So we'll do that manually here just to show you. And it basically achieves the same result. Now we're gonna add a bit of flair. We've got plenty of time left. Let's copy this quantity field and duplicate it. I'm gonna hold command or control, drag it across and you'll see we get two bar charts. With the second bar chart over here on the bottom left, I wanna make sure that this is a GAN chart. We're gonna add a bit of flair, so we're totally breaking the rules here. But nonetheless, once we've set that to a GAN chart, we're gonna to go to the first bar chart at the top, and we're gonna set that to bar rather than automatic. The reason this is, is when we switch to a dual axis, it will actually change the chart type on us. If we tell Tableau not to do that by setting it to a bar chart, it will stay the same. Now we'll set this to a dual axis. We'll take the second measure, go down to the bottom, select dual axis, that will lay the two charts on top of each other. But of course we can't see anything different because they're the same color. So we'll go to the first bar chart here, select the color, and we'll set that to a much paler shade of blue. And boom, we've got a bar chart with a little bit of flair. Before we move on, we just need to make sure we synchronize the axis. You can't really see the difference here, but unless we do that, these two won't stay synchronized. The last thing to do is hide this axis on the right hand side. We don't need that, right click, and go ahead and hide the header and boom, we've got a bar chart with a bit of flair. And of course this still works like any other bar chart. You can sort it, you can rotate it. And I just think it generally looks a lot nicer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.